you're under arrest. I was gonna make this video on the last week of April, but I was lazy and procrastinated a ton on classes, so those assignments kind of became the priority there for a bit. But what a month, y'all. What a month. My hope for the end of March was to hopefully reach 50 subscribers for my 18th birthday, which is May 12th. We reached 50 subscribers by April 15th, which, again, is just insane. Thank you so much. So much. I know how cliche that sounds, but I seriously mean that. I always try to put a face on anyone who comments or subscribes or whatever. I picture those faces and I want to make them happy. I want them to know that they're noticed. And if I don't see a comment or don't like it or don't answer it, I feel awful about it. So again, thank you for just being here and watching the stupid videos I put out. So recently, uh, recently being the first week of April, I put out on Twitter, if you have any questions for me for the month of April, throw away. You'll be in a future video. I got a ton of responses, and one person asked three different questions, so I'll put those last, that way it feels a bit more fair. I don't know why that feels fair to me, it just does. So let's do this. First question comes from uh, Netcat, a good friend of mine on Twitter, and he asked, what do you think of KOTOR? I didn't really play KOTOR growing up, but I played it. Frankly, I really want it to be remastered, because I think that kind of game would really do well today, especially with a Star Wars theme, and I just, I, I, I think an open world Star Wars game is really what we need right now. Next question comes from at Arknezo, and they ask, Thoughts on the High Republic? Will it be good, bad, or a mix of both? Personally, I think it being a completely separate being from everything else is a good thing. Keeping the High Republic, for the most part, unconnected from the Skywalker saga should work really well for creators and authors and etc. So I have high hopes for it, and frankly, I think it'll be pretty good. I'm really positive about it. Next question comes from at the Star Wars Apologist, and they ask, What is your favorite color of lightsaber? Mine is brown. Darth... I'm not answering that. I'm turning 18 in three days, so I have to legally be mature. Frankly, my favorite color of lightsaber is either black or yellow. If I could have a dark saber in Jedi Fallen Order 2, that'd be great. Next question is from Tankman the Devastator, and he asks, The Return of LucasArts. Last year, job postings for game developers was put out, and it said they'd be working on a heritage project. They've recently been re-releasing old games, but it is rumored that they're finishing Star Wars 1313. Could this be true? If I'm right, which doesn't happen often, but I'm fairly certain that the Heritage Project was rumored or like highly uh, suggested to be a flying game, or like a flight simulator kind of game for Star Wars. So I feel like a Rogue Squadron game is probably going to be a bit more likely, and that's if it's a flying game, you know? So, so basically, only time will tell, and best we can do is to hope for the best, really. The next question comes from at Raven Tachyon. Hope I said that right. But they ask, what do you think of the comparisons people usually make between Mando and Boba Fett? I'm assuming that you're talking about uh, people saying which one is better? Of course, this is a perfect topic because as of yesterday, it was announced that Tamara Morrison would be on The Mandalorian. But I think it's a fair comparison. It's kind of like comparing football teams in the preseason. We've seen them before, but we haven't really seen them together. And keep in mind that we haven't really seen much of Boba Fett on screen. And we haven't seen much of what he's done on the screen. So it's, we can't really judge fairly in my opinion. Now I have three questions from Uninspired Crow. I'll just go down the list and answer them one at a time. First he asks, are you excited for Mandalorian Season 2? Yes. What's your favorite Star Wars character? Ahsoka or Kylo Ren? And lastly he asks, favorite Sith? Probably Darth Maul or Vader. Both super amazing characters. But yeah, thank you to everyone who participated and, and just asked really interesting questions. So if you have any questions for the month of May, you'll be in a May Q&A at the end of the month. But yeah, I turn 18 in like three days as I'm recording this. Quite frankly, I plan on making a video that's different, I guess. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's a bit more personal. But much like other things, the only time will tell.